we have a number here, 2487. And you can see that there are two in the thousands column, four in the hundreds, eight in the tens, and seven in the ones or units. If we're adding on 10, just the digit in the tens column will change. The ones column will never change when we're just adding on multiples of 10. The hundreds will change only when we get to a certain number, which I'll demonstrate here. You are asked to find the next three numbers in the sequence if you're adding on 10 each time. If we add on 10 to 2487, that tens column, that eight digit, will move up to nine. Now if we add on another 10, that nine can't get any higher. It has to go back to zero. Because zero is a smaller value digit, that means that the digit in the hundreds column needs to go up by one. When we add 10 to 2,497, the tens will go to zero and the hundreds will go to five. So now we have 2,507. And if we add on another 10, it's just the digit in the tens column that will change and that will go up to one. And each time we add on 10, that tens column will just go up one each time until we get back to 9, where we have 2,597, adding on another 10, again that 10 will go back to 0, and the 500s will become 600s.